So we're going to do the field walkthrough for the week, um, but we're going to start inside. Uh, this is our uh, our seeding and propagating area. <laughs> A little disorganized because we did some rearranging last night. Um, you can see a little mess because uh, we just finished seeding new microgreens. Um, Got to get into the seedling room here. And, whoo, fogging up. But, uh, hopefully, is that fogging up for you guys? Um, so, yeah, you can see, hopefully you can see, we've got tomatoes all over the place. Um, three of these trays, so like that one, sun-kissed, and... This one here, um, I forget the name of that one, and then Roni. I don't know where Roni is. I think maybe that's Roni. Those are greenhouse tomatoes, so those we should have, gosh, as early as possible, because I'm going to put those in the greenhouse as soon, or in the tunnel as soon as uh, uh, it's warm enough for them to be out there all the time. Um, down here, we've got uh, early broccoli. Had a little spill there. Um, and then these are the trays of... Uh, of microgreens I seeded yesterday you can see they're right on the surface here and if you look close it's only been a day but you can see them already starting to sprout just because of the humidity in here um, which is just great and we got more up here hard to see up there because there's no light but the uh, the trays on top slowly shift down under the light and once this cool snap um, goes away, uh, the uh, seedlings will get moved out to the greenhouse, which I'll show you next because we're getting a roof on that to keep some of that heat in. It's not a plastic roof this time, it's actually solid. Well, plastic but not, um, you know, rolls. Alright, I'm going to pause it and we'll go outside. Well, I said I was going outside, but I didn't know if everybody had seen all of the preserved stuff that we had. We are actually running low because it's middle of March already, um, so we've got, looks like, a couple weeks left of uh, canned things. Over here, these are what Marcy has put away on that shelf for us, and then the rest of these shelves were filled earlier this year with uh, other preserved stuff um, that was in jars. All right, now we're going outside. So, we're in the barn. I can't remember if I showed everybody, but we put uh, stalls, new stalls in, opposite of where the old stalls were. Um, so we've got a stall here with heaters and, and a feeder uh, for, look at them, uh, the new babies. Of course, we're planning on more. Looks like uh, Danny's going to have two, if not three. Moms are in here for right now because uh, with the snow and the cold, um, the rest of the goats aren't out in the pasture. Um, the other stall here actually goes outside and wraps around the building. Um, this is for the... Uh, the boys, they uh, have to be separated from the girls because they taint the milk, and um, we don't want uh, the girls getting pregnant when they're not supposed to. So now we officially have a separate area for them, except right now they're in with everybody else because that's where the hay bale is. All right, so that's it here. I'm going to pause, and we'll go out and uh, look around the field. All right, so we're outside here. Um, I was talking about the greenhouse. We've got a hard roof on one side. i got to finish that off, but of course, it's below freezing out here, so it's no fun working. Um, if we go inside quick, you can see, you know, that's what it's going to be um, when we get it finished on both sides. Hopefully this weekend we'll take care of this, and then we can start lining these benches here with uh, seedlings as they come out. Um, quick look at the field is, you know, not really productive today because it's covered with snow and other than the snow looks the same as last week because it's been cold. Um, but uh, we didn't get the snow that everybody else got, maybe an inch out here. Um, now we're going to go in the tunnel and start harvesting. Alright, so in the tunnel, um, we're going to do kale this week. Uh, we're going to do lettuce. These are the seedlings this week. Really started to pick up with the warmth and the sun. Um, we're uncovering the beds. We covered them for the last few days just because of the drop below 20 degrees at night. Um, 
You can see the lettuce is protected then. Looks great here. Ooh, nice and warm under there too. Um, and then this down the center is our mescaline. We get some warm days. Uh, and uh, this mescaline is just going to start growing like crazy. And then we'll start harvesting here. Hopefully, hopefully by April. Um, spinach is looking really good. And uh, that's where we're at this week. So, uh, there you go.